Hi, I'm David. We're in New York, and you're watching Real Estate Tracker. So here we are, we're at the Viridian. Looks like a beautiful building. You got about, it takes about three quarters of the block. You have six floors. I can see where all the penthouses are. And they each have an outdoor space, so that's clearly visible. Let's go inside. Now, I like the feel that I have in this lobby. It's very big. It's quite enormous, actually. And I also like the point of this. It's very rustic. You have some greenery here. And I'm told that tomorrow this is going to turn into a waterfall. They're going to turn this on and it's going to be water trickling down. I really like that. Now, as for the building itself, as any building, it has a history. Originally, the building was set to be a condominium. But because it was built on the tail end of the market and because it was very overpriced, it never sold and it went into bankruptcy. Now, a new developer has taken over the project and they turned it into luxury rentals. So let's go walk around the Meridian. Let's see what they have to offer. And you can tell right away that this is a, they spent some money on this building. As a matter of fact, 90% of it is completed before it went into bankruptcy. Just the lighting alone in the hallways tells you that it's got a rich feel to it. We're gonna go inside the model home and let's see what they got to offer. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what we have. As you can see, it's an open kitchen. The appliances are very rich. You have a Bosch burner right on top. It's an Electrolux oven. And I like Electrolux because they're sturdy, they're heavy, solid. And that's something that you want. And let's take a look at the drawers. I like the little knickknacks, like the spice rack they have off to the side and that it's self-closing as well. And if we take a look at the refrigerator right over here, the refrigerator looks pretty good, it's solid, and I like this wooden panel. And this I like. This has a very nice clean finish because when you open it up, wah, look at that. I like that. Um, you got nice deep drawers, they're very deep. You have a lot of counter space, you got good shelving, and it's solid, sturdy, and that's what we like. And let's say you have a mess, you were cooking, you got company coming over, you got everything that's a mess, you take everything from here, you put it here, and then you close the door, and you're all set. Now every home is also going to have its own washer and dryer. They're going to put it in um, when the people move in. And that's a very good amenity to have. As you can see, there was no vent there, so it's going to be running on condensation. Let's take a look at the bathroom. The bathroom is beautiful. You have a rain shower head. You also have a drawer which opens. Now this is kind of cool. It's a little bit on the funky side. Check out this sink. This is adjustable like this, you know, and uh, the water runs so you do have where you put the water. Well, plus, you know, on those nights you just drank too much, you know, you just put the sink up like that and put some water on you. Whoa! Look at that. We know now not to do that. The bedroom is a very good size. That is a queen size bed. You got plenty of space here. Now check this out. That is a walk-in closet. Look at the size of that baby. Look at that. As for the floors, they're all hardwood floors. Here we are in the living room. The kitchen is open. And you know what I love? I love it when there's furniture, when they put furniture out in the model homes um, and the way that they design it, especially when I see a big open couch. Love to do that. All right, so here we are. Two bedroom. Well, as we can see, it's a very similar layout. Everything's gonna be an open kitchen. And I love the central AC. I mean, you just come in and the climate just hits you. So what do we got going on here? Okay, we have a closet, which I'm sure they're gonna turn into a pantry. The kitchen's exactly the same, but there's 
Something different here. There's a door over here, and I'd like to see what that door is. What's going on back here? Okay. Whoa! This is a lot of space. Now, they're going to put stackable laundry machines in here, and they're going to be over here. So now you have all this space as a work area, which you could utilize as storage, or it's just a place to go hang your laundry. You could do a little cooking, you could do a little cleaning, you could do a lot. So let's go take a look at the bedrooms. Oh, this is a good size. This is nice. This is a king size bed. So it'll give you an idea of the space. Lots of space. So right now we are on the third floor. We just saw a two bedroom home, we just saw a one bedroom home. But for those of you that wish to come here, that's exactly where the sales center is located. They're giving incentives to live in the building. What kind of incentives are they giving? They're giving you a month and a half of free rent. But a little bird told me that you can get two months of free rent. Shh. Don't tell them I told you. But go get it. Oh! Holy smoke! Look at the size of the ceilings. You can fit another apartment up there. This is nice. I like this. That's the storage thing that they were telling me about. We got about 200 square feet of storage up on top of that thing up there. And if you want to get up there, you got to call the super and he'll come up with a ladder. Oh my God. Look at this view. Holy smoke. Wow. This is what I call shot. You got the whole city skyline over here. This is unbelievable. I'm loving this. And there's an outdoor space. It's not completed yet. Why don't we go outside and get a private balcony? Holy smoke. Oh my God, what an outdoor space. You got about 300 square feet of outdoor space. You got a beautiful view. I'm looking at couples walking down the street. This is beautiful. Breathless. What we're gonna do right now is take a look at some of the amenities in the building. So why don't we go downstairs and see everything that this building has to offer. We're gonna look at the swimming pool. Walk right through the lobby and just make a left right over here. Kind of curious to see the size. When you look at too many homes, you might tend to forget what you saw. Write down the apartment number, write down what you like, write down what you don't like. As for this development, I pretty much like everything about it, and I'm sure you will too. Before we leave the Viridian, let's take a look at everything that this building will offer. Oh, look at this! What a way to leave the building! They were supposed to be turned on tomorrow, and they're actually turned on today. That tells me that they're right on schedule and everything's going according to plan. Let's go track it. Right now, I'm standing inside McCarran Park, and on any given Sunday, you can see a nice soccer game over here. I hear a saxophone playing in the background, and it's loaded with people. And this is one of the greatest things that Greenpoint has to offer. Beautiful outdoors, not to mention that it is actually green. So why don't we go take a look at what's going on. Let's go.
really enjoyed my experience in McCarran Park. I saw a cool soccer game, I played some handball, I kicked a little soccer around, I saw a great volleyball game, and I met some really cool people. Now let's go check out the rest of the neighborhood. So Dimitri, how long's Peter Pan Donuts been around? It's been around since uh, at least uh, 1961 for about 50 years. 50 years, More man. Than More than 50. So you can say like this is like the oldest donut shop in Greenpoint. Yeah. It, how have you seen the neighborhood change in the last 50 years? It was predominantly a Polish neighborhood when I was younger, but now it's getting to be uh, more like younger people from just probably getting out of college, 25, 27. And are you seeing a lot of families that are moving here? Um, now, that after a few years, the people who are just coming out of college, now they're having families, having kids, so yeah, there's sort of like a new class of family. Yeah. So they actually came here out of college, fell in love, and yeah. they're having families, and they're not leaving. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I'm happy to hear that. Hey, you know what? I gotta try one of these donuts, man. Mm. Heaven! The people in Peter Pan were great. As I'm walking down Manhattan Avenue, which is where we are right now, I counted about 15 to 20 storefronts. And all the gates were open. So that tells me that the economy in this neighborhood is booming and it's a self-sustaining neighborhood. But right now, we're going to go and take a look at the historic section of Greenpoint. Wow, what a spectacular day. Right now we're on Milton Street. Milton Street is one of the historical sections of Greenpoint. All of Greenpoint was inhabited by American Indians. And then the Dutch came and they settled. Well, the Indians weren't having it and they tried to take the Dutch out. But the Dutch decided to stay anyway and they built farms. A lot of celebrities that were born and raised here in Greenpoint, such as Mae West, Mickey Rooney, and one of my favorite rock stars, Pat Benatar. This is our last stop. You can't be in Greenpoint without taking a look at some Colossus. So we're gonna go into Steve's Meat Market and find get a little history behind it. Hey Steve, how are you? Good. I heard a lot of great things about your store. How long has Steve's Meat Market been here? 37 years. 37 years, that's a long time. How many different types of kielbasas do you have? We have almost 20 different kinds. 20 different types of kielbasas? Yes. That's a lot of kielbasas. Well, this is a uh, Womzinska. It's called a more regular kind of kielbasa. How, how, how would you translate this into English? It's like a town. I'm eating a little piece of Womzinska right here. And uh, here we have a traditional mm. wedding kielbasa. That's a wedding kielbasa? Called the Selma. Yeah. And me... So this is a wedding kielbasa. I feel the love. I want to get married now. <laughs> What about like all these kielbasas that are hanging back here? These are the all different various types of kielbasas, right? Right. You um, don't have to give me a taste of every single one of them because I'll walk out here looking like this guy. 37 years, lots of history, gray kielbasas, forget about your waistline, come to Steve's Meat Market. You got to check this out. Greenpoint's just like better and better all the time. Steve, I want to thank you so much for letting us into your store and just like showing us and giving us all the background information about the kielbasa and everything that you have available. Thank no you problem, so, so no much. No problem, anytime, anytime. And we have a little something for you. Just to remember us by and enjoy. Wow, thank you so much. Sure. Oh, I'm coming back. I mean, hey, free kielbasa. I really enjoyed Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I also enjoyed visiting the Viridian Luxury Rentals. I'm David from Real Estate Tracker, and we'll see you next time. We'll discover new neighborhoods, new developments, and new world.